Hi guys, I'm doing some crafting now. I'm going to do the pine cone trees. I have to find where Jimmy put the pine cones. Okay, because apparently he put them away when we were getting things ready for Thanksgiving and I've got to find them. So in the meantime, I'm going to remember this little house. Okay, I wasn't uh, finished with this. Now this has, I put this kind of this tape that only I found once at the Dollar Tree. It has this sparkly, really nice glitter. I wish I had found more. I've looked for it every time I go. I haven't found it. But I want to glue some trees here. And I also want to put a wreath on this door. So I've got my glue gun fired up. And let's see. So I'm just going to put a out of glue on the door there and then take our wreath that was weird the way it just like you see that Okay, and then I do want it to like a flower box or something. I don't know. I mean, For a second, um, so, you know, like how I how I trimmed the windows out in the on the other house. I might just I don't know, maybe take some some paint. I'm not I'm not sure, and do the windows the way I did, where I put the little box around them, the frame on the other house. I'm not finished, but this is just embellished a little bit. I want to put a light in there. Maybe, um, I don't know if I want to put a little window up there or something. I definitely want to do some type of a trim here. If I have a uh, gold like this and so I have that on the sides. I'm going to see what I have left over for my trees because let me see, whoops, oh, I'm dropping my trees. So I may need some of the smaller size for my other houses and these are just a little too big so I would just have small and large here so I'm going to wait and see what I have left over and I will go ahead and put some more snow on the roof so that's a little embellishment I've done there now I want to do the pine cone trees like I said and so for those I just bought these styrofoam cones at the Dollar Tree and I just plan to glue them on now if there are any areas I guess that I need any filling in I can use this which I also got at the Dollar Tree the floral moss and um, what else do I have here? So yes, I'm just waiting on finding those pine cones now. And then I'll be ready to start that project. I'm trying to find, this is my other house. It reminds me of something out of Fred Rogers. Um, you know his neighborhood but I that's how I did the windows here now for this one I would want to use one of my where's my you know you buy so much stuff right because I have larger wreaths I have like this size I have the small size that I put on these and then I have these so I wanted to do a wreath 
couple of wreaths on, on this house. Now, here's a smaller one, but that covers up the whole window there. So I think I'm going to probably, for that window, use a, like, you know, a small one like that so you can still see the window. I could do wreaths on all the windows. I don't know, but I have those bigger wreaths that I plan. to use here. Now I may embellish it with something from the Cricut, but right now, like maybe put a Merry Christmas or something, but I think I want to do that and I think I want to do one of the smaller wreaths here. Probably, let me see, I had six of those I think, right? Probably with the um, so I think I would do it like right in the center as if they had a little hanger right in the center of the door for the little small wreath. Like that, and then I would put the larger wreath right. Oops. There. Hold on. I'll probably put some little red embellishments on it and maybe something from the Cricut, but I think I'm going to put it like right there. So. A little blue. It's a little hard to glue these down. We'll see if that'll hold. It might not. I may have to go at it again. But that's something I've got to still embellish the sides and stuff. And then, but I do think that looks cute. Now I want to put some trees. So I've got some of the larger trees. So I think we'll do one like that. I'll try gluing the bottom of the tree. And placing it there. And again, Sometimes I have like those little light garlands or things like that that I might want to do, and I think I'll do a tree on this side. Like that. So. Christmas crafting with Carolyn. So we've got that, and again I'm going to put lights, I'm going to put lights into the house, but um, 
make sure that this tree okay and I do want to put a little doormat and I think I will probably make something with my Cricut for that I did get some new blades today I do want to put more snow on the roof but that's the last thing I'm going to do looks like I have to tack some of these because I only used a um, just almost like I think I use like a glue stick just to hold them in place. So I'm going to go stick some glue behind those and finish those off. And I'm going to try to find my kitties. Are you home as well? I'm doing a video. I'm doing a video. I'm going to try to find my pine cones now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so what I did was I blinged out I put the windows with these um, jewel border stickers. They come like this, and you can just trim them down. It's really blingy. It's really blingy, but I think for this kind of a house, you know, like this is the ch a church, they are very glittery and very showy. I the ones I had a kid as a kid, they were more um, they were glittery, or I wish I had them, um, but. They were from my mother, probably from the 40s or something, I don't know, but these are, uh, I, I do like the way it came out. I want to do the windows on the side, might as well. So I just cut this little strip of three for the window. Try to get that one right in the center. I don't always do it perfectly, but, you know, what can you do? And then you use like one on either side. So this one left over from something. You just kind of make it fit. No one's really going to stare and stare and stare. And then there's another one. The other side. So we've got the bling like that, and then we do like I was doing a like a flower box on the bottom, but then I was just blinging out the whole bottom, and it's usually what is it? Right to there. They're nice because they peel off in a strip. I usually pick these up when I find them, and I found them in gold, and I think I found them in silver, and it might be white. I'm not going to worry about how that is like not exactly up there because I just, if I can pick it up, okay, maybe I can. All right, and just trim it. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. This time I'll touch that paint up. So yeah, I'll just touch that paint up right there, and then I'll just do a strip on the top. Um, There, and I blinged out that window. Now I'm going to bling out this window. That one right here for the side. Put that down.
And I didn't cut this foam with the Cricut, so it's not perfect. I cut it freehand, but that was my first one. And I don't even know if I had, I think I did have my Cricut, but it was brand new. And then again, it's like when you're doing something and you're staring at that part, that's what you're staring at. But in the long run, when it's lit up and it's in the display, no one is really going to be looking at it that much. And if they are, well, then great. So it blinged out that side, so now it's all blinged, blinged out, and we put the top on. And so we have a blingy house. Um, now we could do maybe something up here, I don't know, type of embellishment, we'll see. But there's the other house there. Okay, hi guys, I'm back after like an hour searching for the pine cones. Yes, and them being in the place I should have looked first. Okay, anyway, it's done, it's done. Found some other stuff in the meantime, so what are we gonna do? I've got my pine cones, I put these in the essential oils. These I picked up, you see how they opened up? If you remember when I showed you online that they were small, these, these were the tiniest ones. Remember those little teeny tiny ones? They open up like that. And these open up like that. They smell like the, the very merry essential oils I used. And they open up like that. There's no bugs crawling in the bag for everyone that's so concerned. Um, so I've got even the, like the tiniest ones, they open like that. So. I've got a variety of sizes. All right, so what I can do is start, I can glue them, whoops, glue them like this, which I think I'm gonna start, and then fill in. I'm also gonna fill in with any of that where they are, you know, where I need to. So what I'm gonna do is just grab my glue gun. Uh, don't even tell me now that I don't have my glue sticks. This is like a crafting joke, isn't it? Now my glue sticks are gone. Are you serious? They were here a minute ago. Here they are. Okay. Okay, so I've got the glue gun, and I'm, what I'm going to do, and I, again, I've never done this. This is my own um, take on it. I didn't watch any tutorials on this. It's just my own idea, so I don't know how it's going to turn out, and uh, that'll be the fun of it. I'm just going to start gluing the pine cones, you know, straight up and down across the bottom, trying to keep like sizes. I'll have to fill in with the smaller pine cones and with that uh, floral moss. But that's what I'm going to do here, and I'm just going to keep going around and around with the glue gun and the pine cones. <clears throat> and then, um, you know, we'll see. We'll get to the next uh, phase, and I'll talk about 
more about what I'm doing, but for now you can just watch this and enjoy the music.
right, so I'm just going to keep, I just keep moving up, you know, row by row and just gluing the pine cones. And I noticed that my cord got full as I got right up to the top. But what I just did is I just kept going a little bit like over the cone and then kind of folded them in a little bit on each other to make a, you know, a tree shape on top. You can also embellish with like small red berries and things, which is probably what I'm going to do as soon as I get all my flowers and stuff out is I change other arrangements around the house. But, um, you know, I mean, you could have painted the cone green to begin. You could... You know, I'm sure there's probably someone's like, no, that's not the way you're supposed to do it. Well, it's the way I did it. And it's kind of like a woodland tree when I'm done. And you'll see, I had to pull a lot of the glue strings off. That is pretty cool. Right? So I'm going to let you keep watching with some music. Okay, so I've got the floral foam right now and I've got my Cricut weeding tool and what I'm going to do is kind of put this and fit this in between the spaces in the cones. I actually found my fingers worked a little better. So that's how I continued. Again, you can use those red berries. You can put some snow on the cones if you want. You could even put um, that, you know, that stuff that we used on the roofs of those houses that I showed you at the beginning of this video, some glitter, whatever you like. I mean, it's your own thing. I tried a variety of things here. I tried a glue stick, but it was my fingers that ultimately worked the best. Sometimes I use the tool to get in a really tight space, but my fingers actually worked the best. And you don't have to be afraid like to kind of really push it in there. And uh, what I did is I just went through and went through all the spaces. I do want to find maybe if I can find some like red berry, like a garland, a very small red berry garland and perhaps put it on there. And I even have some like copper lights that are tiny, tiny little copper lights. They're teeny on a copper wire 
those might be a nice around the tree but again it's a very woodland feel and you know it was it was a nice use of natural resources with a little um, foam and moss from the Dollar Tree and some glue from the glue gun. I hope you try it and I hope you enjoy the crafts that I showed you today and that they've inspired you to make something festive to celebrate uh, Christmas and the holidays. Have fun guys. I hope everybody's having a good day and I'll talk to you all later. Bye bye.
Oh